Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll continue to talk about various kinds of inputs in HTML. So, and we'll continue from the previous video wherein we were talking about phone number inputs. So let's continue from there. I have just kept the HTML body and in the heading ready the way it was in the previous video. And uh, let's carry on from there. So we have form action is equals to the PHP page. that is called the action page from the emulator and then we have input type is equals to telephone number this is specifically used for telephone numbers i have talked about in this in the previous video but that was not completed due to time limit so the id is equals to uh, just phone and then name is equals to phone as well so we are just using it for phone numbers and then we have a placeholder wherein all the numbers are you know actually uh, categorized by three digits so that's how it goes one two three four five and then six seven eight so that you know uh, the user is able to you know see that uh, pattern that this is the way things need to be done and then we just want to you know define it how is how it's gonna go so we'll place square brackets then zero to nine then curly brackets three this is like the first one contains three digits all from zero to nine then hyphen again zero to nine three digits sorry then, then two digits and then three digits so that's that's maybe according to the country we can decide which kind of format that has to be utilized And then last one also contains a three. So, yeah. And then, and then we says required. Then gives the break. The required means this, this is the kind of format that has to be there. Give two breaks. And then. And then we give the input for the submit button. And value is equal to submit. So that's how the telephone number has to be there. It has to be of three, three to three digits. And then the form. Form closure and HTML and body closure. Let's see what the outcome is. Copy the entire thing. Take it to your emulator. And click on run. Zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So you can see that, you know, now uh, this telephone thing is there and this is how the format has to be. So let me just, you know, enter a phone number. If I don't enter the hyphen, then I click on submit. So it says, please, please match the requested format the way it's displayed. So let me just add hyphens minus eight, nine, six, three, and then click on submit. So when I click on submit, that's how my phone number is submitted. So another, another kind of input that, you know, I just want to talk about is if you want to, you know, enter input time. So for that what we can do is uh, we'll uh, let's just keep it as change it to time form action remains same input type i will change it to 
and then after input I uh, after form I just need to add a label as well for is equals to ABPT then input time and then take the input change telephone to time then id is equals to ABPT again the one that we've used name is equal to ABPT as well no placeholder required this whole placeholder thing goes away and then the submit button is there yep let me just copy everything paste it click on run so you can see that time is written here and then it says input time and I have and a clock symbol is there so as soon as click on clock symbol you know I'm getting the option to choose a particular time according to 24 hour clock so I can say that you know 23 hours 43 minutes click on submit and you can see that that this actual value is 23 or 23 hours and 43 minutes all right so that's it for this video and uh, we'll talk about more in